Good morning, everyone. This is Andrew, just in Windsor this week, checking on some projects. And today, I'm at my Marantet project, which is just about finished. And we're just putting together the punch list. Uh, one thing I wanted to give a little tip today was uh, for a punch list, uh, rather than write everything down and then the, my contractor has to go back behind and sort of figure out where I was and what I was looking at and you know trying to describe like bedroom right corner da da da. What I've been doing which works pretty well is using uh, WhatsApp just because the picture quality is really good and it allows you to actually comment right on the photo. So what I do is uh, go around the house, take photos of everything that I want fixed or, or that are not completed, and uh, just write a note saying what I want them to do, and text it all. So they get this. When I do it, they just it's ding, 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 ding on their phone. But it works really well for me. Uh, saves me a lot of time, and uh, also you know pictures worth a thousand words, right? So anyway, I want to show you my property here see how it's coming along got my traditional signature red door every property you see in Windsor if it has a red door the chances are it could be mine I don't see many red doors around here so anyway I'm gonna turn this around for better touring ability so we've got the front door is there, so it's like still painting. And the stairs going upstairs here. Again, I like to just paint. Uh, if it's a wooden stair, I prefer just to paint them rather than cap them. It's just my preference. This is the infamous brick wall that uh, I posted yay or nay. And actually, now that I see it, it doesn't really bother me. So I'm gonna leave it. One faux pas I made is this bathroom. Oh, so I'll step back here. This is a bathroom right here. Uh, didn't have a lot of space in this house to add another bathroom and I thought at least a two piece would be worthwhile. Now a mistake that I made is not taking a bit more control of the design of this. There is actually enough room in this bathroom for this to work. I would have moved that toilet over a little bit or perhaps even had this sink here in this little bit of a nook, move the toilet over, not necessarily to code, but at least it would work. So what I'm going to have to do here is get a uh, squat toilet to give more room here and probably just leave that. But it's functional. Hopefully skinny people uh, rent my house. Living room, dining room, all the gray, popular gray flooring, calling wood on the walls, white trim. I'm actually going to paint my house like this soon, I believe. This bulkhead is an interesting story. This whole room was done, and this conduit, because there's no center lights, um, this conduit was only to there, and then it was bare wire running there, and then the fan from the bathroom, the exhaust pipe ran over there, because you can't go, um, the other way was the stairs, so you can't go that way. Anyway, it was left open for the longest time and I was wondering what they were gonna do. And what they did is this neat little trick. This is not high-end rental, by the way. I would not do this in a, in a good, um, like an expensive neighborhood. But that's a bent piece of aluminum that you could get at a, a, like a roofing or a siding store. And then they flared so they could screw. So it goes like this and then like this down the wall and put a piece of cord around over it and it worked out really well. Saved us some mudding and stuff like that. And it's hard to mud on a popcorn ceiling because you're, you're not gonna see, the transition's not gonna work with mud and tape. Interesting solution, like I said, in this particular house that works, it's up high, no one's gonna be hitting it or touching it. 
I've decided to put window coverings on this rental. Uh, I didn't used to do that, but a, a pretty cheap Venetians. Um, that way they're there and consistent, and we just got some cheap curtains, more or less for staging purposes, and if the people want to leave them, they can. They're not very expensive. But got the backyard. Yes, there is a cemetery back there. A uh, new sliding door and a new deck, as you can see. Now, one of the most improved parts of this is the kitchen. Originally, this was a door to the backyard, a steel door with a window in it. The fridge would have been right here in front of the camera. And then the counter went along there and then along here, and the sink was under the window. So we changed this all around, got rid of the door, boarded that all up, insulated it, put a window in, sink there. So now you have still your, your window over a sink, which is, is sort of standard. Still have room for a dishwasher fridge, a little bit of prep station there, a little bit of prep station there next to the stove. So you know you pull your stuff out of the fridge, put it there, wash it, chop it, da da da, move it over next to the stove. So it's very functional. And we have this little breakfast bar you know, you could put a couple stools here. I'm not going to provide them, but somebody could. And uh, and then what we did underneath the here is we used upper cabinets, uh, so like 12 inch cabinets. Basically, turn them upside down so the knobs are at the top. But those cabinets right there are the same as those right there. So you keep this nice clear walkway. I'm not really sure how this wooden top is going to work. I hope they don't use it as a cutting board because I got them this nice fancy sink with a cutting board in it. This is Costco, by the way, for $2.50. Very good deal. And this faucet was about 100 bucks at Costco. Anyway, that's the kitchen. Basement, there's nothing down there. I had to replace the... Uh, Replace the furnace and replace the air conditioner and replace the water heater. Had a bit of a fight with the water heater. I was hoping that Enercare would have replaced it because we had to put a new furnace that was now direct vent. Uh, everything was vented out of the uh, chimney. And uh, they just didn't seem to get it. Uh, I wanted them to replace my water heater with a, with a direct vent. And it was so much of a fight that I ended up just uh, putting in a new, my own I bought from the same guy that installed the furnace and the AC, put in the new water heater and I ended up just buying out the old water heater and I'll use it somewhere else. But I just hate dealing with rental companies and uh, I'd rather just buy them out to get rid of the headache. Sort of like uh, cash for keys on pain in the ass tenants. Anyway, I'm gonna turn this back around just to show Bedrooms, nothing fancy, but decent size. I don't know if you could probably get a queen size bed in there if you really wanted to. And so it's three bedrooms. Got to rescreen those screens. Now here's a little lesson. When you ask your electricians to save money and they run the conduit on the outside. Um, you know, careful what you ask for. Uh, I, I did ask for this in a way, and then I came to see it next and it was already there and I decided that for this particular renter that will fly. But uh, yeah, just be careful what you ask for. So this is a new surround here. New toilet, new floor, tub is original. We glazed it and we put a surround, just a kit. Because it was all tiled, but it was all pink tile. And rather than bash everything out, we just went over top of it. Put a ceiling panel in too. And the vanity. This is actually kitchen cabinets used as a vanity. It's uh, 
to my mind, it's a lot cheaper than, like, this is a very large vanity. This is probably four to five feet long. Um, and those are, you know, thousand dollars from what I've seen. So this is good enough for here. It fills up the space, but it uh, doesn't have to be high end for this particular rental. Most of my rentals are in central Windsor, which is sort of a intermediate uh, rental area. Um, I have some in Walkerville that I, you know, that's you know, certain parts of that that are better neighborhoods and I put a little bit more effort into those ones, but um, you know, you gotta renovate for the, for the neighborhood you're in, right? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that tour. I won't keep you any longer. I'm off to do some meetings in Windsor. I'm quite enjoying my week here. I think I might uh, to do this again. So anyway, everyone have a great weekend and we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.